Hey, Netzenberg Elementary, it's Anthony Devine. This is just a quick video about our printers and a few troubleshooting techniques that might help them run a little more smoothly. Some of the tips in this video might mean avoiding having to complete Mr. Benninger's request form and waiting while the problem is resolved. One issue that comes up frequently is toner has to be replaced. For our black and white printers, that's easy enough, but for our color printers, it's important when filling out the supply request form that you share which color of toner is needed, if you can tell from the display screen. You'll also need to complete Mr. Bittinger's form if a printer requires the replacing of a maintenance kit. But if this is the only message showing up on the display and there's still a green light on the front of the printer, you'll still be able to send print jobs to this printer. Many of the recurring problems that happen with our printer revolve around paper. If you're having any issues with paper feeding properly, one of the things you can check is that the guide on the side and the bottom of the printer are perfectly aligned to 8.5 by 11. They may seem pretty close to 8.5 by 11, but always check to make sure that it's snug on both the side and the bottom. If anything is off, it might as well look like this as far as the printer's computer is concerned. You want the guides on the side and the bottom to be snug and aligned right at 8.5 by 11. When refilling an empty paper tray, be sure that you haven't added too much paper. Adding too much paper causes paper jams. All right, now you're ready to close the tray and continue your print job. A quick note about the size of print jobs. Our printers seem to work best when we limit the size of our print jobs and don't print more than 30 pages ideally. And if you ever find yourself trying to resolve a paper jam on your own, avoid trying to pull out paper that feels like it will rip as you pull it. Try turning this green knob that you see on the door side of the printer, or turning this green gear that you see on the printer side, in order to remove all paper before continuing. If none of these troubleshooting tips work for you, feel free to add a request on Mr. Bittinger's form. I hope these troubleshooting tips help you peacefully resolve any issues you have printing at Netzerberg Elementary School. Thanks for watching and have a great day.